hello everyone today we are going to make a flip card but it is not a regular flip card which we made before but as you can see that when I hover that is a 3d effect which you can notice if you see the content when it is flipping so with this 3d effect it's looking smooth and nice as you can see that we will make it in this video and if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe fast and let's enjoy the show. As you can see that here is my HTML file and here is my CSS file. So in the HTML file, let's create a boilerplate. And first of all, give it a name of 3D flip box or flip card. And after that, let's link our style sheet. And here in the body, let's create a div with a class of container. And in this div, let's create a, another div with a class of card wrapper. And in this card wrapper, we will have our card. So div with a class of card. So in this card, we will have two face. And first one is the front face. So what I can say is we have a div with a class of front face or front card. Let's give it a card so that we can understand and also let's create another div which will be our back card and that's our front and that's our back card so under the front card what we need is we need a div with a class of content so here we will have our content so for the content for now let's give it a h1 and say that front card or something like that and in the back card what we need is we need to also give it a div with a class of content and in the content we will have our content and for now let's create a h1 and say that back card and also let's give it some drag graph so let's say that lorem will be 40 and also let's come here and let's give it a button so we will have this content in the back card so for the button let's say that click me and that's fine so after that let's open it with our live server so as you can see that that's our front card and that's our back card and that's all our content so let's go to the style so in the style let's remove all the unexpected gap so let's say that padding will be about 0 and margin will be about 0 and box sizing will be border box which will remove all the unexpected gap if I save now you can see that we don't have unexpected gap so in the HTML let's give it a font family so let's say that I want Montserrat and let's give it a fallback font family which will be sans serif and as you can see that it's working because I already have installed Montserrat in my PC that's why so if you don't have Montserrat installed in your PC what you need is we need to go to the googles.fonts.com and grab the font and link it to your standard CSS so after that let's come here and say that font size will be about let's say 20 pixel or something like that and let's come to the container and here let's say that height will be 100 bh and width will be about 100 percent and also set display will be flex and align items will be center and justify content will be center so that will make all the content in the center so as you can see that so also let's make a background color 
not that one it will be this one so that's looking something good so as you can see that our content is now in the center and what we need is we need to we need to resize them so for that what we can do is we can grab the card actually in the class of card and here what we need is we need to give it height and width so let's say that height will be about 600 pixel and width will be about let's say 400 pixel if I save now you can see that it's resized so also let's say that position will be relative and transform style will be transform style will be preserved 3d and also let's give it a transition of one second is all so that's something looking good not all let's say that only for transform so as you can see that so what we need is after that we need to go to the front and back face of the card so let's come here in the container in the card front front card and also let's come here and grab the back card and here what we need to do is we need to give them a position of absolute and also say that height will be 100% and width will be 100% and left will be about 0 and top will be about 0 and let's say that background color will be yellow green and back face visibility will be hidden will be hidden so this will hide our content when we rotate so if i save now you can see that we can see only the back side of the card because we can see that the header is for the back side so we can't see the font side so for that we need to style them individually so let's first of all give them a style in common so which we will need so let's say that display will be flex and align items will be center and justify content will be center and let's also give them some padding of 20 pixel and text align will be about center and also what we need to do is we need to give them a transform style so transform style will be preserved 3d so as you can see that we have this styled something and let's and now let's style uh, the back card individually so let's come here and grab the back card and let's come and let's say that transform will be rotate let's say that it will be rotate y so capital y and let's say that 180 degree so as you can see that it removed our back card content because in here for both front and back card we give it a property which is back face visibility hidden and what it does is it will hide the content when it rotate so as you can see that for now we have only rotating our back card and when i rotate back card our back face visibility of our back card will be hidden that's why we can't see our back card so if i remove the comment as you can see we can see our back card so also let's say that we want to give it a background color of about let's say that aqua and then that's looking good so also let's remove the comment and as you can see that now we are in front card so now what we need is we need to give it the rotation when we hover the card for that what we need is we need to give it a hover to our card as you can see that we have a card wrapper so we will give the hover to the card wrapper so come to the container and say that card wrapper and let's say that if I hover that what we need to 
rotate is we need to rotate the card and the card will rotate not rotate transform rotate will be y 180 degree so if i save now when i hover as you can see that it's rotating itself when it's rotate the card 180 degree as you can see that it's working perfectly fine so also as you can see that this card is not looking good when it is rotating if you notice in the top or in the bottom of the card when i hover it's not looking perfectly fine so for that what we need to do is we need to come to the card and give it a transform perspective of zero and here what we need is we need to transform also give it a perspective of 800 pixel if i save now as you can see that it's looking perfectly fine so if you are wondering what is perspective so so let's come to the mozilla developers and here as you can see that we have a nice example of perspective so it is actually if you can notice here the perspective css function defines a transformation that sets the distance between the user and the z plane so when we set the perspective as you can see that if we set a lower amount of perspective the distance between the object and between the screen will closer as you can see if i give it a perspective of higher number as you can see that it's going the distance between the window and the object is now bigger so if i give it a small number like 700 or like 200 as you can see that it's coming closer so we need to set a perfect perspective number so that's why we, you need to play with the number and come out with your own result so i found out 800 is a good number for my example so be careful if you set too lower number as you can see that we are now into the object which is not looking good so make sure that you have a perfect number of perspective i think 800 is looking good for now so that's it the perspective so now as you can see that it's looking much better so let's also set our 3d effects so for the 3d effects what we need is we need to come here in the index.html and here if you can notice that we have a div with a class of content for both front card and back card in this content we have this our content so if i inspect it as you can see that if i come here in the content if i hover the content so as you can see that our content is holding our h1 for the front side and also for the back side if i come here and see that it's holding all the content for the both front and back side so we need to give it a style so let's grab it so let's say that container card and here we will grab the content and for that what we will need is we will need a transform translate z of about 100 pixel or you can play with this number to come out with your own result and if i hover now as you can see that we have this tree effect you can make it something 50 that will also work as you can see that so if you hover you can notice that there is a gap which making this 3d effect actually the layer of the background and the content between them there is a gap so if we increase the number of translates as you can see that the gap is now bigger if i give about let's say that 200 it will be more bigger gap as you can see that so make sure you give a number that suits your card so i think 100 is good or 80 it's looking perfect i think i will go with 100 i think that's looking perfect so that's it the card of 
3D effects with flip car, flip box. So let's also give some style to our H1 and our back card. So for the H1, let's say that front font size will be about 50 pixel, a big font, and also say that paragraph will be about font size of 80 pixel that's looking great or something about yeah and also come here let's increase the padding as you can see that just looking perfectly fine and also let's style the button so width so as you can see that it's looking good when we can see the 3d effect So that's it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe the channel. And, and my name is Arfan and I will see you in the next video.